Mabuhay. This is Mr. Criminology at welcome sa ating mga pag-aaral tungkol sa mga subject matters and discipline of criminology. This is for the research of the criminology students, for the review of the future registered criminologists, and for the, the pressure of the registered criminologists. Today, I want to continue our discussion about the pillars of the criminal justice system, and we are now on the fifth pillar, which is the community pillar. This is called the informal settler, I mean, informal uh, pillar of the criminal justice system. And actually this is, uh, this was placed on the last, but actually it can be the beginning and the end of the pillars of the criminal justice system because it plays a vital role in uh, crime prevention, in cooperation with the uh, law enforcement agency. And remember, even our initial initiator or the prime mover of the CJS, which is the police or the law enforcement pillar are having community as they, their main stakeholder, even in their mission and vision, they really want the active participation of the community in the law enforcement policing system. Now let's have the word community. Community refers to the civilian populace in municipalities, public in general, and can be used interchangeably with the word public, citizenry, society, or private sector. So malawak ang term na community, it is used generally. They describe ang mga similar terms niya. It is used interchangeably. Ibig sabihin, uh, parang kamukha lang niya ang salitang publiko, uh, mga citizen, society, private sectors, and in general. But uh, in our criminology world, community is uh, commonly used or the widely used not term referring to the population natin. And let's have the uh, first part of the community, which is the cradle of one's personality. Many theories in criminology explains that in learning theory, yung uh, depression association, association theory, yung uh, imitation theory, napakaraming theory, especially kapag ka society na pinag-uusapan, the sociological aspect of criminology, family is one of the most important because it refers to the basic group that united through the bond of kinship, magkakamag-anak or marriage present in all societies. It is the primary institution that molds a child to become a law-abiding person or a delinquent person. Malaki kasi yung uh, kung bakit kasama sa CJS ito, napakalaki ng role na ginagampan na ng pamilya. It can produce a law-abiding citizen balang araw mula sa kanyang pagkabata at pwede rin siya mag-produce ng isang delinquent person balang araw. So, uh, the CJS, the government sees or look at the family as one of the most important na part ng society natin, ng community natin para uh, makipagtulungan sa kanila in preventing crime as a whole. Second part of the, com the community na kumukuha ng maraming oras ng bata na uh, part ng parang second home na ng tao ng mula pagkabata, which is the school. Kaya nga school is the second integral, ang tawag dyan, stage of the behavior. The social development process ay nasa school. Yan ang unang magkakapag-interact ang bata sa kanya kamag-aral. It is said that the school is an extension ng home. Kaya ang tawag dyan, second home and the teachers are the second parents. Having strategic position to control crime and delinquency, it exercises authority over the, every child that enters its jurisdiction. So uh, the authority ay kaya nga tawag sa mga teacher person in authority kasi nga pinagkakatiwalaan sila with the custody of the child while they are under their jurisdiction. And the teachers are considered as the second parents, as I said a while back, having the responsibility to mold the child to become a productive member of the community. By denoting the energies or devoting the energies to study the child's behavior using all available scientific means and devices in an attempt to provide each and kind an amount of education they need. So how important the school is? 
dito magsisimula, dito din kahagapay ng tahanan na mod ang kanyang behavior na matulungan sila maging law abiding at dito ay dahil nispend niya maraming oras niya, mas maraming pagkakataon ang mga teachers, the officials of the school and the community as a whole para i-mold ang bata with the hope na hindi siya maging delinquent balang araw. The church, of course, the third na tinitignan sapagkat the church is the institution that provides uh, the place for public worship and the services needed to enhance naman yung spiritual and moral character aspect of an individual. As much as we need the physical aspect, emotional aspect, the intellectual aspect, we also need our spiritual and moral aspect. And the church can influence also people's behavior with an emphasis on moral and life's highest spiritual values. The work on and the dignity of the individual and respect for people's lives. Kaya nga, may iwasan natin. Majority, may mga study tayo that those who are active in their faith ay mas kakaunti ang tendency na magkaroon ng criminal activities while those who are not active in their faith or walang panahon dyan, mas malaki ang kanilang a potential tendency na makapag-commit ng criminal acts. <coughs> Excuse me. And the respect for people's lives, mataas, and the properties, the church generates a strong will of the people to oppose crime and delinquency. So church promote peace, church promotes obedience to government, allegiance to government, church promote uh, respect for parents, love for the Lord, love for the community, loving the neighbor, at sa mga commandment, the, the moral law, the spiritual law, the natural law, themselves will guide a man, a person, to become a good and productive member of the society. And mass media is the best institution naman for information dissemination. Imagine ang kanyang i-reach ng media all over the world, all around the Philippines, kasulok-sulukan, pwedeng may disseminate ang isang information. Thereby giving an opportunity to the public to know the, the necessary facts of life that help them shape their daily views about crime and its control. Media can uh, make or break. That's why mahalaga yan because it influences a lot sa mga tao. And mas media, marami yan, television, radio, internet, telephone, mail, brochures, signages, posters, etc. Kasama dyan. And we also have the non-government organization. NGOs are private organizations that are civic-oriented and thus promote peaceful and productive society. Ito yung mga organizations na, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> may advocacies, meron mga gustong pagtulong sa society to make life better, to make people better, and makatulong kaagapay ng gobyerno, mga ganun bang mga grupo. These are groups of concerned individuals responsible for earth for helping the government to pursue community development. So nakakatulong sila. May mga org for youth, organization for parents, uh, children, uh, the workers, farmers, etc. They serve as a partner of the government, not against. So they are a partner helping the government to provide more effective and productive services among the people. They provide common service for the public good and welfare, thus preventing also criminality and maintaining peace and order. And we have two twofold roles ng community as a pillar of the criminal justice system. First, they are they are to participate in the law enforcement activities. Remember, kahit na malakas ang law enforcement natin, kung hindi magpa-participate ang community mahina, kundi tiwala ang community, baliwala, sapagat sila ang main stakeholder, sila ang pinaglilingkuran, sila ang iniingatan at binibigyan ng serbisyo ng ating criminal justice system. So they are to participate. And a role pa niya to participate also in promotion of peace and order. Of course, kung tayo-tayo magbabantayan, tayo-tayo mag-iingatan, tayo-tayo mag-iiwasan na maka-offend, makapag-violate ang rights ng one another, I believe there will be a better community. Because as the uh, well-known line in the law enforcement uh, field world ng criminology, the community are the police and the police are the community. 
So far, this is the brief and introductory lesson about the community pillar of the criminal justice system of the Philippines. Hope you've learned something. Thank you very much. Jesus saves and to God be the glory.